this next match for Minion Legends, we're going to have Troy Spratley. And for Seabolt Wrestling Academy, we're going to have Nate Jessaroga. Going to be a good match here. Two guys, very good. Nate Jessaroga committed to Iowa. And Troy Spratley committed, committed to the University of Minnesota. Should be a good match here to watch. Already a lot of hand fighting from both sides. Looking like some good motions. A good snap out there from Spratly. Spratly doing a good job of controlling the center and controlling the pace of this match, it looks like. And it looks like Jessaroga is going to get called for passivity here. Spratly doing a good job of controlling that center and controlling the pace of the match. It would make sense that Jessaroga gets called for the passivity one right there. All righty, and we're going to be back here. Some good hand fighting going on between these two right now. Nice snap out there. Jessaroga following it back up with another tie. Spratly going for some elbow control right there on the right arm. Goes for a shot there, isn't able to get it. Jessaroga tries to go go behind. Spratly able to move quick enough in time to get out of there. We're back up to our feet. Once again, Spratly going for elbow control right there. Now trying to drive Jessaroga out, trying to get that potential push out point. And now, Jessaroga is going to be hit again with another passivity warning and put on the shot clock. 30 seconds go by and he doesn't score. He's going to give up a point to Spratly. Jessaroga going back to that collar tie. Likewise, Spratly trying to get that elbow control right there. A little shot attempt there from Spratly. Jess Roga now in on the leg. He's gonna get a he is gonna get a four-point throw to open up this first score of the match. Nate Jessaroga. 50 seconds left in this first period. Let's see if Spratley has any response for that in this period. He's got a shot attempt there. Jessaroga doing a good job of feeding those hips back. He's got an overhook there. And it looks like he's going to give up the push out. And so now it's going to be a 4-1 score for them. 40 seconds left to go in this first period. Nice snap there from Jessaroga. Going back, going to that inside tie. Another shot attempt from Spratly. Not able to get both hands on the leg, though. Just Roga doing a good job of holding doing now doing his own good job of holding the center. Looks like they're gonna go into an over-under position now. Just Roga going down to one knee to try and fight this overhook out. Now going throw by attempt. Spratly tries to go wizard down and reach for that arm across his body. Nothing's gonna happen. They're gonna come back up to their feet, and that's gonna be it for the first period. Nate Jessaroga leading at the half, four to one against Troy Spratley. Alrighty, and we're going to be back here with the second period. Once again, Nate Jessaroga leading 4-1 after the first half with a big four-point throw to open things up. Spratly able to get a step out right after in order, to, in order to put himself on the scoreboard. Shot attempt from Jessaroga. Shot attempt from Spratly. He gets in there. Looks like he's going to get in tight. And he's going to get the two there. So it's going to be a 4-3 decision. Now, now he has the lace, making it 5-4. Going to call out of bounds. 
It's going to be a 5-4 four, four lead now for Spratly with about 2 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in this match. Once again, as far as the team score goes, Seabolt Wrestling Academy is leading 12-6 over Minion Legends right now. A little fake attempt there from Spratly in order to open up some offense on his side. Jess Oroga going back to that collar tie. Doing a good job of controlling center now as Spratly was doing it in the first period. Looks like Jess Oroga and him have switched positions. Now he's doing a good job of controlling center. Trying to look for that passivity call right there. Looks like we're gonna be stopped here real quick for some blood time. One minute, 20 seconds to go here. Looks like uh, Spratly's ear Five might have taken Spratley. a bit of a cut or an opening to it. Looks like it's ble bleeding a little bit. Ah, jeez. Alrighty, now that we've got that issue out of the way, we're back in this match. Once again, it's a 5-4 lead for Troy Spratley. A minute and 10 seconds left in this match. See if Dressa Rogo is going to have any scores. Seaball coaches keep calling for passivity. We're stalling. One minute to go here, Matt Lewis. Match staying in the center. Shot attempts. Now Spratly's in on a front head. He's going to keep it 45 seconds as the clock winds down. Stop, stop. He's going to get a passivity point against him. So now it's going to be Jess Oroga in the lead. That is my... So it's actually just going to be an attention. It's not going to be any point. Once again, Jess Oroga going, going for broke here. Constant shot attempts, crazy hand fighting. We got 30 seconds left in this match. Spratly trying to get into a tie. Looks like he's doing a good job of that. Jess Oroga trying to look for attacks. He gets to a shot there. Spratly now trying to lead in. Tro Spratly right here. Jess Oroga trying to build up on that shot. Doesn't get it. Trying to go front head. Five seconds left in this match. Will he be able to hold on to it? And it looks like that's what's gonna happen. And Minion Legends is gonna get the win here. Troy Spratley leading with the 5-4 decision. As we come into our next match. Good.